Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our FTB Interactions series. Last episode, we just started... I feel like I just got caught on something there. That was weird. Um, last episode, we started getting everything ready for the Aurelia artifact thing. Actually, throw that over there. Um, so we started getting the red matter, which isn't too terrible to make but we had to get dark mana we got a primal matter and all that stuff and uh the most difficult part probably trying to get these void ingots uh because we need void seeds which we got uh liquid nightmares easy enough i have infinity automated um but we need a destructive will and i believe we need a couple I think it's two rituals I think we need to automate the destructive will. Um, I can't remember, but uh, I do have... I'm going to have to look up which ones we need um, to get the destructive will, which is cool. But uh, we can get the Gaia Spirits and hopefully Red Matter today. Now, I'm actually going to... I want to get this Unstable Mana finally automated. Uh, not that... Primal mana, no, somewhere in there. Where is it? Mana dust. Yeah, unstable mana. Because we need, apparently, we need lots and lots of these. Um, so, redstone, really not an issue. Mana, not really an issue. Ethanol, not an issue. The one thing that is kind of an issue is a simple power catalyst. Uh, we need lots of netherwort, redstone, and this gelled toluene. Now, I can actually get netherwort from a netherwort chicken. Um, but it's only found in a dungeon, unfortunately. Um, but I think I'm going to see if I can go search the um, search a couple fortresses, see if we can find this chicken. Now I haven't been lucky with finding these chickens. There's the other one on. Come on. Uh, there's. There's one on, man, I can't remember how to get out. How do I get out of here again? <laughs> I think I can just go through here, right? Yeah. Yeah. I do have, uh, I do have that, but this is not the easiest thing to, oh God. Yeah, not the easiest thing in the world to do in the nether. Also, I did throw night vision. I finally got night vision on my helmet. I usually don't like permanent night vision, but uh, I figured why not. Also, is that... Yeah, let's do that just to lower the... <laughs> Man, why am I so bad at this? I'm so bad at aiming with bows. Um, and as we remember the... Do I have quick draw on there? I do have quick draw. Um, oh god. <laughs> uh, melee weapons have a huge knockback, so that is something... That is kind of annoying. All right, so I'm gonna search and see if we can find some fat loot. <laughs> Let's see if we can find any scan. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there is there is absolutely no chests in this location. So that's exciting. Let's run over here. There's three. Yeah, we'll take the diamond. Well, I don't need diamonds. Can I put it back? No, I can't put it back. All right, I'll take the diamonds. I don't need them. I have, like, thousands of them. All right, well, I'm kind of here to... No, I don't want the saddle. Go away. I'm kind of here to get another word, so I might as well take it. All right, uh, let me search, and we'll see if we can find it. All right, we are back, and uh, I flew around to a, I think, like, three fortresses, and I was kind of noticing all the 
the loot was just vanilla loot. It was just iron ingots, gold ingots, diamonds. And I realized I probably not looking in the right spot. Um, nether dungeons. And I was looking in nether fortresses, so I was like, ooh, that... Uh, I probably need to find one of those things like we found on the moon. Um, now, I flew around for a little bit, couldn't find anything. I didn't see any entrances sticking out. But uh, uh, as I was looking, I noticed... There was actually these bricks, and I remembered the fortress on the moon was filled with these, like, bricks. These, like, special types of uh, bricks. So I ended up actually scanning one of those. Um, I crafted up a, another brick and then made it uh, one of the, uh, I think I did the dark lava one. Um, so I could scan it, so I could find uh, the dungeons. I was hoping that would work. And uh, I flew around for a little bit more, and there we go. We actually did indeed find a dungeon. Now, I'm not seeing anything sticking out of the ground anywhere, so don't really know how you're supposed to find these. If there is some sort of clue or anything, I don't... Um, there are these pillar things all over the nether, so it's not... It's not that. See, there's like over there and everything. Um, but I did pillar down one of them. And we did actually find a dungeon underneath here. So there is all the chests. So pretty sure that is what we are supposed to be. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, I was worried about this. <laughs> um, This is going to be... A nightmare <laughs> because we're kind of I guess I could go like underneath it I don't know let me I'm just trying to think like what would be the easiest way I guess I could just go through it and explore it but uh, yeah see now we're getting all the, the special loot so hopefully I can find a, another chicken somewhere in here I don't need any of this stuff Item translate. I didn't. I swear I looked this up and I couldn't find translocators. I don't remember what it was for. Okay, I actually went back to the base to get these healing fragments um, because this place is kind of crazy. Also, I realized I could be shooting my arrows much quicker. I'm probably not doing as much damage, but. Uh, yeah, if we look in here, <laughs> oh my goodness, it's crazy. This dungeon is crazy, but I'm not really taking any damage. Uh, but yeah, I need to see if I can break some of these spawners. Oh my goodness. Also, I don't know if light, if I like light stuff up. Man, this place is nuts. I can't get ahead. <laughs> this is hilarious. Get me out of that room. Right, I just need to get rid of some of these spawners. I feel like there might actually be loot in there. These fire bats and blazes are obnoxious. All right. Come on, another chicken. No, no, another chicken. I'll take that, though. All right. I will continue searching around and see if we can find this. Yeah, see, this is the issue. I just get 
I can't. I can't break any of these stuff. There's too much stuff in here. But uh, I guess this doesn't have any loot anyway. Oh my god, get me out of here. Holy. Holy crap. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. I need all this stuff. I mean, there's tons of chests, but no chicken yet. All right. I did find one. I don't know where it is, but it's not not in that one. Um, yeah, just kind of flew around and uh, kept dropping the scanner. So there we go. We got our another wart chicken. And uh, I am ready to get the heck out of here. Never want to come back. <laughs> Although I feel like we might need to do Aurelia as well. A dungeon on there. Um, it's the blazes that are just so annoying. I mean, my bow is pretty good. We are, I do need to repair it. But uh, all right, let's meet back in the base. Okay, I think... Uh... I got almost everything here. Um, so I'm going to... Basically, we need to craft these up. So mixer. I think we'll be right there. Um, we got our nether wart, which these chickens just produce the nether wart directly. So I guess that would go directly into the mixer. Um, let's see. How do we want to do this? All right. I think I may... Do that. Could just do a hopper. Fluid solid fire. Now, unfortunately, these are kind of limited. Um, actually, maybe I should limit it. I just like convinced myself that I should get a what is it? Limited filter. Yeah, I didn't think I had advanced filters. Automated comparators we do have, though. And then I will just have it limit it to 64. Otherwise, it'll completely fill this up. Nope. I put a lot of this stuff away. Um, extract, insert, limited priority. Actually, I don't want... Let's not turn that on yet. Let's get this going. Let's do three. Yeah, it does seem to be three is kind of... When you have 16, 10, 10, tens, it always seems to produce three. Um, I'm just going to get 64, and then we'll throw a limited thing on there. Now, distillery, I need wood tar, which we're already producing. We're going to turn that into toluene. Um, I de was debating whether to do uh, crafting up a distillery tower for wood tar. But I think we'll just see how this works. Um, what was the other thing I needed in here? I don't remember. All right, so there's 64. Limited. 64 of that. Now I'm actually just going to delete that because I want to make sure this works. Nope. So that should pull out the 64. When it gets to 64, it'll turn off. All right, so what we're gonna do is fill this up with wood tar, which we're already producing over here. We're actually voiding it. I think I'm actually gonna drop this down underneath to hide it a little bit. But uh, I'm really not going for aesthetics in this base. That will be in 
or Greg Tech New Horizons. So that is, nope, that, this one. What color is this? I think it's blue. Yeah, all right, cool. So insert blue. And that should do that. So that is a negative 10 priority. Ron Robin disabled. Ron Robin enabled is fine on that one because it's jumping between this one and that one. <clears throat> right. So there is the wood tar that has been produced by that already. Cool. And then we'll turn that into toluene. Now, obviously, this is going to be pretty slow. But if it's running continuously, we should be okay. Uh, so that'll be that. I may actually need a robot arm also on that. Hmm, the one kind of thing I'm not entirely sure about is this redstone. I guess I could, if I really wanted to be accurate here i could do a couple robot arms there we actually have two mv ones already let's do i don't really need a quantum chest let's just do a regular or how about an iron chest we could do that We'll do robot arm there, robot arm there. We will, pretty sure we have enough. Yeah, we have plenty of channels over here. Um, I could go underneath. Let's make it a little cleaner. So that. I need redstone. I'll borrow some of this. That. Because I don't want it to fill up the entire thing with redstone. Alright, so that's going to slowly fill that up. Once it, It'll speed up. I don't even need a big... This is probably too big. Change the plan. I really only need, like, one stack, to be honest. Is this a thing? Tiny chest? Ah, oh, tiny chest is not a thing. Yeah, I really only need a little bit of redstone. Otherwise, it's going to fill it, the entire thing, with redstone. No, actually, I know what I can do. I can do that ender. What's that called? Ender chest or ender, ender storage. Is that the mod? This thing, storage unit. There it is. Because I can actually set it to only one, one stack, right? I can even tell it how much to put in there. We'll put, oh, right click. We'll just do 64. That's all I want in there. It's one stack. And then, yeah, there we go. The limited filter actually did that. Now I could do, I could probably do limited filters as well. That would uh, work as well, but you know, I like doing the Greg Tech way as well. So I want supply exact 64 and uh, import. Because it's only going to be on there. And that should, if I move the output, the output is blocking it. Output's actually going to go underneath all right cool so we got our 
another wart. We got our redstone. And our gelled toluene. And now, same thing with this. We will fluid solidify. That actually... That's actually going up faster than I thought it would. Alright, I'll put to there. I do need a mold. I'll just use... I'll just use this one, I think. Uh, mold. All. That will do that, right? That is... Yeah. And we just need to hook this all up to our... I'm not going to put it on that one because... That's all my auto crafting. Uh, this one is on a separate one, though. I'm actually just going to run. This is Signalum, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. That is running. No explosions, always a good thing. I mean, that doesn't look too crazy, right? I kind of wish these were matching. I may switch that <laughs> to uh, Adam Conowitz just because they so they match. All right, there is our tuluene. Go to the right. Fluid solidify. Now we will do the same over here. Supply exact 64. Now this is actually... Ooh, that wasn't right. Why did that do that? Hmm. Supply exact, keep exact. Maybe it's keep exact. Ah, yeah. Supply exact is not what I wanted. Supply exact is it'll move 64 at a time keep exact is what i want it'll only put 64 in there all right so we need to change this uh keep exact import hmm i wonder if that's going to be an issue it should be importing like is that going to be an issue with that no that one in there what about that Oh, well, there it goes. I don't know. I'll keep a... I have no idea why that is only doing it a little bit. But uh, all right, so there we go. There's that three. And then the last thing we need in there is our life essence, which we have a GPS thing for. Well, we will in a second. GPS. There. And we will throw it in our thing up here now. There. All right. So that is running. Pretty sure it is nowhere near as fast as uh, our uh, other one. Um, I can't get... The sacrifice runes are much harder to get in this one. We need Vengeful Will before I can get any more runes of sacrifice. Otherwise, I would replace a bunch of these with runes of sacrifice. Uh, but we're kind of working towards that, actually. So that should be... Yeah, there we go. We are producing our simple catalyst. I gotta figure out why that's being a bit funny. Worst case scenario, I can always... If it's... Causing issue with the different, the different, because uh, it should be going. <clears throat> Mode, keep exact. Maybe it's seen like 64 of that and that's messing it up. Same with, all right, that's actually looks like it may be messing up that. Maybe it's seen 64 in the first slot, so it it's not. Importing 
And that's why it imported when I, because it's not doing the redstone either. That is interesting. I'll have to maybe take a look at that. Um, I could always do limited filters underneath. I kind of wanted to do the Greg Tech thing, but if that, I have a feeling this, it's seeing this 64, and then it's like, oh, I can't put it anymore in because I have keep exact. Uh, filters? Maybe filters would work. I actually have a couple filters. Let's try that one last time before I decide to do it a different way. So if I do item filter with that, maybe that will only keep an eye on that. Filter. Holoing. Whitelist holoing. Oh, that's not like going to let me do that. All right. I need to put the exact amount that I want it to keep in there. Like 32. Keep exact 32. All right. I think it did that, actually. I'm actually going to throw all this in there. Might as well. So if I want to do 64, let's try that. 64. All right, there we go. That looks like that fixed it. Uh, not having the filters on there was kind of screwing that up. All right, I'm happy with that. We'll throw that another wart in there. But, uh, all right, so that is simple power catalyst taken care of. Now, I just I'll put that into there. I could do the same thing over here and limit the amount of redstone in, which I may actually do. Kind of similar to what we're doing there. Why isn't that? Okay, that is. But underneath we will just. I'll just do this underneath. And that goes into there, and I may, like I said, I may, <clears throat> well, I don't know. We'll see if stuff gets clogged up, but uh, I may be able to just leave it, because if I keep that stocked, then it doesn't really matter if all those are stocked. But uh, all right, there is the unstable mana. We aren't producing a heck of a lot of ethanol. As we... I have it split up. Is that what I do? I don't remember. Or am I just doing that manually? I may just be doing that manually. All right. So I may... I'm going to have to craft up any other fluid transfer node, and then we will send this ethanol over to here. And that is our unstable mana. All right. Unfortunately, uh, that took a little bit longer than I thought it was. So we will have to come back next episode. We will get this Destructive Will working. Maybe Vengeful Will. That might help as well. Um, I'm trying to remember what... Oh, I needed Primal Mana is what... Is what I needed. That's right. I was like, why did I need this? I need 60,000... I think of unstable mana, which that is a lot. Why don't I throw a bunch of this ethanol in there? All right, definitely need to get the ethanol into here for the rest of this. And then we will just keep producing unstable mana. Now, where are you? You're right here. All right. So that is that. And uh, yeah, we'll come back next episode. Now that we got unstable mana pretty much automated. Um, yeah, we will get the destructive will. And hopefully with that, we will be able to get our red matter. And with the red matter, 
we'll be able to do this. Also, I will craft a platform to kill the Gaia Guardian. I'm pretty sure with our armor and our weapons, that shouldn't be an issue. Also, why did I get a chemical reactor? <laughs> I thought I needed a chemical reactor. Apparently I didn't. Oh, well. I'm sure I will use it at some point. Anyway, that's going to be it for the day. So thanks for watching and have a good one.